anything left? You want me to just uh, close in words? Yeah, you yeah, know the one that you're talking about, uh, the system or the, remember you were talking about? The secret system. Yeah, what is it? We want the secret system. I want the secret system. Secret. 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 Yeah. <laughs> you know, we've kind of <laughs> weaved it in throughout the event, but people are looking for, you know, you see it a lot on the internet to where people are looking for opportunities and somebody says, I've got this marketing system that I'm getting rich with. <laughs> and for only a hundred thousand dollars I'll teach it to you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So you go to this seminar yeah. and it's this online a hundred different things and that's phase one. Then you kind of come back for the next course. And so the, all the money is made in, in you buying the system. The, the, the system. Yeah. <laughs> and so we've seen a lot of different marketing systems through the years <laughs> with companies. And so based on that, it's real simple. If, and, and this happens to us a lot, we, we enroll a, a new consultant in the business and they start I know with me anyway, they start telling me how they're going to go do it. Now I've got this little roadmap that will go in one year from zero to 20000 a month and it, then it's over. You'd think they might ask what that is. <laughs> but it's just kind of human nature. It's their wheels are turned on, here's what I'm going to go do. Here's the question, is whatever that is, so I get people to do all these kind of things, I'm an online person, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this thing. Well, if you do it, everybody that you bring in the business has got to be able to do that same thing. And the people they bring in have got to be able to do that same thing. And the people they bring in, but it'll never get there anyway, okay? So it's got to be something that every single person, no matter who you are, is able to do. So as a company, we've got this system. Also, if somebody has a system, you know, all of a sudden, there's, it's fragmented. There's a little bit of division because their organization is doing this. So, I, I mean... I better create a system so that my organization's doing this. And well, you're going to need to go to his seminar because he's doing this. So you got a fragmented company. Make sense? So how about if everybody under the same roof was doing the same thing and it's effective for everybody? And that is a big reason. There's three big reasons for our success, four big reasons. First of all, it's the hand of God. Wouldn't be possible. Nobody can compete with our product. We pay out more money. But our marketing system is not driven by your personality. It's not driven by your intellect. Or you have it being, being good at this particular thing or that particular thing. It's real simple. We bring people into the business. And we just ask them to reach out. Because it is a numbers business. It's marketing. It's business. Everything's about numbers. And so, immediately, out of the gate, we call it 25 and 7, to where you should contact 25 people. I brought, I had a, I, somebody had me on a three-way call a couple days ago with their new person. And they were going to go over all this stuff with their new person. And I'm like, guess what? If you do that... If they ever get a new person, guess what they're going to want to do? Go over all this stuff. Everybody's going over all this stuff. But the only thing that needs to be happening is Mr. New Person needs to contact 25 people. In the, and I told him in the next 48 hours. And here's my deal. If you'll reach out to 25 people and just simply open up communication. Just call. Just, but it's got to be a phone call. Can't hide behind the computer. It's got to be a phone call. 
It's just, how you doing? What's going on? Been a while since we've connected, whatever it is. Normal conversation. And somewhere in that conversation, they're going to ask me, so what's up with you, right? And say, well, you ever heard of Zeal for Life? No. I tell you what, I'm going to send you a little video email. You got to take a look at this thing, man. And then I'm going to go to another subject. But here's what I've accomplished. I've made a personal phone call. Now, if they're in my neighborhood and we're real close, they're going to come over to the house. We're going to make shakes, yada, yada. But most people, you know, that's a small group. So I send my video email. I'm going to follow up the next day to make sure they got it okay. And so my job is to introduce or expose. And the videos do the presentations for you. It's already done. And so my job is just how many people am I getting introduced or exposed because through those 25 people, I'm going to get one or two or three that are probably needing extra money. They trust the relationship. They'll get on the product. Things just happen. And so that little formula right there is, is really all there is to it because it's, it's the 25 and 7, which leads to make an all-star, which leads to making a $1,000. Okay, and when that duplicates, every time somebody comes into your organization that simply introduces 25 people, gets their all-star done, and makes a thousand dollars, you get a bonus. Anything outside of that little picture is, I don't know what it is. It's the newest person coming on board, introducing 25 people getting their all-star done so that they can make a thousand dollars and it turns a bonus if it's turning bonuses everybody's making money and then the residual gathers up on the back end so if, if you're in the business to make income if you really want to make extra income if you really want to replace your job if you really want to build something and get free that is our marketing system. It's simple, it's easy, anybody can do it. The tools make the presentation for you. It's a no-brainer. Anybody can do it, everybody can do it. And so, that's the secret. That's the secret. For every six people coming into your group, for the most part, they're making a thousand and it's tricking you a bonus and you can make up to eight of these bonuses a week and those bonuses is going to give you the extra income it's going to replace your job mm -hmm. you're a year away yeah. but in closing here's all here's what i see because every time i go anywhere it's always a different group different culture different circumstance situation it's just every place is different but i'll tell you what the reality of zeal for life in Canada is. It's exactly like in the United States when at one point in time back in the, what, 1849, <laughs> when, there was the gold rush, okay? They discovered gold out by San Sacramento. And it attracted everybody that was in the country that had the wherewithal and the drive, the motivation to get across the country, <laughs> to get out there to get a piece of that, that gold action. Because if you could get there and get some of that gold, you're set for life, right? Oh, yeah. So, initially, when the, the initial leadership here in Canada went out there, what we had in Zervita in Canada, what I call the gold rushers, new, front end, be in the beginning. But when you look at who really won in the gold rush in California, it was not the people that rushed out there for the gold. Mm -hmm. Is the people that, because most of the people rushed out there, they started digging, they found out it was really hard work, and they, it, wasn't a get, it wasn't as get rich quick as they thought it was going to be, and so they bailed and did other things. We've been through that phase in Canada with Zeal for Life. We've had people come through thinking it was front end, new deal, get rich quick. 
the get rich quickers are gone. Mm -hmm. And what's left are the people who want to be part of the gold rush, mm -hmm. but they're sticking. Mm -hmm. You will be the first generation of consultants in Canada. So you had to have the first handful that we got to make it, to prove up the program works. One year, 20K a month. We've had a handful of people go do it, right? So we got the testimony and the evidence. Mm -hmm. So now, you are really the next generation. But you're a different generation than the gold rushers that came through here. Because we've been here how many, uh, eight months, two years, something like that. So eight months ago, it was a different looking group. It was the ones wanting to get rich quick, and if it and if it didn't happen quick, yeah, they're looking for the next startup company where they can be first. And if it if it's not easy there, it was that group. You all are a different group. See, the people that really won during that gold rush in California, the people who went out there for the gold rush, but then they stayed. And they put down roots, and they were in that territory early, and they built businesses. And they're the wealthiest people in the state. They put down roots. And they stayed. So here's I wish I could articulate this better. Because it's, it's emotional to me. Amen. I hate getting emotional. <laughs> I hate getting emotional. So let me harden my heart. Here, because I, because I, I just know the deal. I can look at every single one of you, every single one of you in this room today, and I can look in the eye, and I can see what it can look like for you one year from right now. If you've got hopes, if you've got dreams, if you've got aspirations, if you want a better life, if you want to help people, if you want to be a, a positive influence, number one, it takes resources, you know? It takes resources. A lot of needs out there. Guess what the, they all need? So there's nothing wrong with helping people with their health mm -hmm. and helping people with their finances. Mm -hmm. Because when you put money into the right people's hands, mm -hmm. you can change the world. And that's why there's going to be negative opposition. And that's why it's important that we come together like this once in a while mm -hmm. to get our vision back. Mm -hmm. You know, to get, you know, to get our swagger back, because we got to go back out there, and we got, we got to, we got to do the big picture purpose. The big picture purpose is because of you, you're gonna get somebody on this product into the business who gets somebody who gets somebody who gets a. It's so far reaching. Your indirect influence is gonna go all over the world. It's going to go all over the world. Do you think two and a half years ago when I was buying my $500 of samples and getting it out there, do you think that I could see myself fast forward two and a half years that I'd be sitting in this room with you? That's what, that's what I mean. I have different perspectives that I can see for you. And so I come here to try to impart this vision for you. So if we can stay out of our own way and quit thinking and quit listening, any negative thing that comes against you, understand why it's coming against you. Because you're bringing a message that's going to impact and influence people's health and people's finances. Just a little bit to the people you personally bring it to, 
but to the power of a million, mm -hmm. the indirect influence. But it's got to start with you. You see, if, if the negative force can knock you out of this business and keep you from talking to somebody, keep you from doing this thing, and it comes in a lot of forms and fashions. It can be the distractions of life. It can be family, kids, schools, activities, don't have time. The negative forces to keep you from doing this comes in many shapes and forms. It can come from your spouse. It can come from your, your family at home. It can come from your peers, your co-workers. Anything to keep you. So of this, of, of this group in Iowa, I grew up there, and I got a lot of people there. And so what I love about my little group in Iowa is that we spread the word a bunch and got all these people in the business, but then they went through the persecution. <laughs> the persecution of their spouses, their friends, their co-workers, their family tree, everybody. Now, in the meantime, not, it didn't knock all of them out of business, but it knocked probably half of them out. Probably knocked half of them out. But then the, the people that were w wounded, you know, yeah. they'd get to a, they got them to a, a national comp, got them to an event, get them into an environment like this, let them know, you know, it's a team. We're doing this big, we're this global mission of helping people get healthier and helping with their finances. And there's about 25 of them now that have all been in three to four months and have been persecuted in about every way you can get persecuted, but they're still in. And that's how I see you, this group, in this area. The get rich quickers. You know, we've seen them come and go, right? You all are the ones that are going to form the next big, I mean, just a handful of people made a rumble. So if, if five or six or less than 10 people can make a rumble, can open a, a country, if less than 10 people can open a country, what can a couple hundred people? A couple, hundred a couple hundred people can change the world. This group, every one of you, and we all play a part. None of us are just these big producers that do these superhuman things. We all go out to the marketplace, and we just we don't go out to do the business. We just do it while we're out. <laughs> you know? If you're wondering about who to go talk to, just pray about it. Amen. Just say, you know what? Who bring to mind someone who needs this product? And when that person comes to mind, which they will, mm -hmm. just walk in it. <laughs> and just call them, just say, hey man, you'll never believe what I'm calling you. <laughs> I was praying today and the Lord put you on my heart. Hallelujah. You ever heard of Zeal for Life? Put it on him. If he, if he gave it to you, if he called you into the business, if he gave you that person to come across your mind, there's a reason. Amen. Don't, don't, it's not your, all your responsibility. Just be, just be a, a servant. Amen. Just do what you're called to do. There's people going to bed every night, aches and pains, Bad health, not feeling good, on meds, mm -hmm. everywhere, right? For the call. They need the call. There's people going to bed every night, not paying the bills, working around the clock. Financial stress is the number one cause of divorce anywhere, everywhere, right? Yes. We're in the worst economy in modern history. We're in the most uncertain times in the history of the world. Used to, when I was growing up, it was a, it was a lay down. You want financial security, you just consistently invest in real estate in the stock market, mm -hmm. and over time, you can't lose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where do you invest today? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. 
So let me ask you this, for you really hard-headed ones. Okay? <laughs> if not this, you're a business person, you're an entrepreneur, got a proud person, you know, what's your plan for the next two years? What is your two-year plan for winning? out there in the free enterprise system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if this ain't it, we'll give you, you create a PowerPoint, we'll give you the, the marker and the chalkboard, and you show us your plan <clears throat> to where you can go from zero to $70,000 a month of reoccurring income in two and a half years. Wow. Show me the product. Show me the character and integrity of the leadership. Show me the funding. Show me the confidence. Show me testimony. Show me some examples that someone else has done with your plan. If not this, because here's the deal. I was talking to one of these gentlemen over here on the side. And he goes, yeah, when you got started, who'd you go to? I said, I went to, went to everybody I knew, my friend. And he goes, I bet... Uh, you know, he goes, they all join? I said, no, most of them didn't join. Most of them didn't have nothing to do. Wow. But you know what? Who lost? <laughs> Two and a half years later, what are they doing? Same problems, still broke. I mean, they're going through my mind right now who those people are. <laughs> Worse off today than they were two and a half years ago. Do you think I'd lose a minute's sleep over the people who told me no? Mm -hmm. yeah. No. <laughs> you can get restored. Can't look in the rear view mirror either. That's where all the, the bad stuff is. That's what keeps us most of the time. Because we look in this rearview mirror and go, yeah, but I tried this once. It didn't work then. Why would now be different? <laughs> oh, no, that's why Edison kept experimenting. Mm -hmm. That's why Lincoln kept running for president. Mm -hmm. That's why every entrepreneur on the face of the earth has tried and tried and tried and tried. And finally, for whatever reason, it was the appointed time mm -hmm. and it happened. Mm -hmm. Zervita is the appointed time for wellness in the world. Wow. There are six billion people out there. Why, how did you find out about this thing so early? In the beginning, on the front end. Why you? How did you get called to be in leadership on the front end? You see, you think you've got it bad. You think your situation's bad, your circumstances are bad. You think you've got big time struggles. All the excuses that we have for why it's going to be hard to do it. Do you know that that test, so to speak, becomes testimony to others? That's why God called you in this thing. Because as you go overcome that stuff, there's a whole bunch more people in that same boat that need somebody like you that they can follow, that they can be inspired by and encouraged by. Mm -hmm. Your story will is a unique story. We all got these unique stories, but your story is needed to inspire people like you who've got the same struggles, same situations, same. And if you don't go overcome your stuff, you ain't gonna lead nobody into nothing. Wow. You're gonna be involved. They're gonna be involved. Nobody wins. So it's important that we get together like this and we keep each other encouraged and stirred up. Get in your grill a little bit. Say, hey, get over it. Because if you don't go do it, it's not going to influence it. Life is, we're here for a vapor of time. A vapor in the big picture. We're here for a breath. So while we're here, do we really want to get held back by anything? It's going to be over.
And, and when we're getting there, in those final hours of it almost being over, when we look back, we won't look back and go, hey, I didn't buy in and I overcame and I became an inspiration. I, I helped others. I helped them with their health, their finances. Or was it, dad gone it. Wish I'd have. <coughs> Don't want regrets, right? Don't want regrets. Personal development's a big part of this business. You've got to keep your mind fed with the right stuff. Because our minds receive thousands of thoughts every day. Yes. Most of which are lies. Most of which come from the wrong source. And if we receive that thought and believe that thought, we become that. Just like the way you're perceiving this whole meeting today. Mm -hmm. Some of you are looking at it like, I just can't see myself becoming a successful one. Where does that come from? Where does that come from? Why would you think that? Where someone else looks up and goes, if they can do it, I'm going to kill this thing. Yeah, that's right. Where does that thought come from? Where does that belief come from? We are what we believe. So what do you believe? Whatever you believe is what you become. As a man thinketh. So what do you believe? Well, I'm going to try. No. You're not going to inspire anybody with I'm going to try. People are looking for leadership. They're looking to look in somebody's eyes and say... That person has belief, they're, I'm going to hitch my way with that. Is that you? You come into my place and you look in my eyes. That's why I love college sports. You know, these coaches, you got the best running back in the state. Every coach in the country wants this person, right? Mm. All these coaches are in that living room. Why does that kid pick that coach? We're in the same business. We're looking at people's eyes, and we know that if we don't get this product in their body, their, their, their body's going to operate about 25% of what it could. So because they've got this objection and that objection, they're telling us this, that, are you going to buy, who, is the tail wagging the dog? I'm not going to debate them, but I'm going to figure out something to where I can hopefully encourage them in a way to where they'll try this stuff. So you got to be above it financially. The business might be the answer for it. People are looking for leadership. You're attracted to leadership. You're looking for leadership. You know, in everything. So we're in the leadership development business. It's up to us to become leaders of our own companies. You're the president. You're the CEO. What's the vision, Mr. President, Mrs. President, CEO? If we put you up here, said you are president and CEO of your own company within a company, tell us, what's your vision for your company? How many people do you see using this product within your company in the next six months? <laughs> How many people do you see affected by this product in the next one year, Mr. President? How many people do you see making extra money, getting out of their jobs, having residual income? How many people in your company do you see being successful in this business law in the next 12 months? See, if you don't have vision for that, where there is no vision, people die. If you don't have a vision for building this, if you can't believe that you can do this, it won't happen. So we're here to stir up your vision. Stir up. Help you believe that you can do it. Because you can. You got the same spirit as we all got. So what do you believe? As you come out of here today, if you don't believe it right now, right this second, 
You think you're going to believe it more an hour from now? Or a day from now? Or a week from now? Or a month from now? Your belief will never be stronger than it is right now. In this environment. So do you believe that you can get to the next level in our, in our plan? If you're in SC right now, you're looking at RC. Do you believe that you can get to that level? And if you're there, that's the great thing about our plan. It's just getting to the next level. You don't have to have a vision for going from zero to ambassador. Just have a vision for the next level. If you can get to the next level, once you accomplish that, you know that there's nothing you can't do. There's always just the next level. The next level. New level, new devil. <laughs> new level, new challenges. New level, new mountain you climb. No level's easy. It's called a new level. Some place you've never been. <laughs> Obstacles you've never seen. Challenges you've never heard of. So it's all in our mind. The product won't let you down. Pay won't let you down. The only thing can let you down, you're in control. So you can do it. Feed your mind with the right stuff. Believe the, the truth. Believe the truth, not the lies. It's the only thing we face in this business. It's the reality. So we want to see every one of you. See, I come from a small town, 2,000 people. So when you're in a town of 2,000 people and you're playing sports, everybody's on the field. Okay? <laughs> I like that movie, Hoosiers. When the guy who never plays, somebody fouled out and he had to play. Well, guess what? The whole town's counting on that little dude, right? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? We're counting on you. Mm -hmm. Every one of you. Any one of you get knocked down or hindered from being all you're supposed to be, it affects hard telling how many people. One person coming in this business could be hundreds of thousands of people to get affected. So every person that comes in. There's six billion of them out there. Every one of whom needs our product. Most of whom need financial opportunity. It's unlimited numbers of people and you will account for hundreds of thousands of them. So you're important. Every one of you are important. So I love that scenario of the being in that hub with the person who doesn't really believe that much in themselves, but they got to because if we're going to win, you miss your block, we're going to kick your butt. We need you. <laughs> we need you. Got to have you. Got to have you. You can do it. So we need every one of you in this business. Nobody ducking behind. I'm starting to get eyes now that I wasn't getting there earlier. <laughs> the people are getting... <laughs> is he really talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really is. Really is talking to you. Yeah. You're, hey, dude fouled out, you're in. You're in. I don't care what kind, I don't care. You're in. <laughs> Every one of you are in the game. And we got a lot to do. Yeah. So anyway, it's been an yes. honor and a privilege. Looking forward to getting up to Montreal. I'm proud to be business partners with every single one of you. You're my partner. You're my brother. You're my sister. Today. And you're going to win, okay? All right, God bless you guys. Let's give it up for Rob